Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sense. So Ken did some uh, upgrades for our gear because he had a lot of money <laughs> and a lot of selling. So um, there are minor stat differences basically across the board. So, I mean, these gloves are new. Talmud is new. And one of these rings is new too. I kept this ring just because it gives me Charmeleon Cloak. Something I don't get innately. I think the rest is good. Also gave Sabiel a belt. Magic belt. Oh. Just, uh, just get that survivability up, you know. That's a lot of HP, actually. That's a really nice build, actually. Uh, anyway, so Canned was in town, and then he got ambushed by dialogue. So, what were you doing here? I don't even remember. I literally just teleported through the waypoint, and then this ghost just ambushed me. All right, you ended Did all the vending with beast. <laughs> you ended my suffering. Tell her him it. You're only too happy to help. I am a projection of the spirit of Elenessa. The demon is dead. I am no longer his slave. You have my gratitude. And in recognition of all that you've done, I shall give you the spirit of an elven morning star. Made of pure source, it will pierce your enemy's armor. I know you shall use it in the service of good. Fare you well, Demon Slayer. Fare you well. The fuck did you just get? It's Ma too heavy. <laughs> where, where the fuck is it? Oh! I got some stuff to get as well. Oh? Uh, oh. Alright, so it's actually actually good. So I got a skin graph <laughs> skill book, I got a frost rune. I'm getting a kind of shitty wand, whatever. So there's an intelligence helmet, a strength, boots, and finesse gloves. Uh, I mean, my boots are crap, but aren't you going to give me a new pair of boots? Strength boots for Fred Prince? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think Sabiel's, um, Sabiel's gloves are what is actually really good on her. Uh, oh, you just gave me the gloves, actually. Divine. Yeah, so probably not the gloves, because the gloves are, these gloves are good, but they're not that good. Okay. Like, same armor and same magic armor, but they give, like, 2% crit, but for ended health, telekinesis single-handed. Yeah, that's okay. It's like, the the first ones are good, but, like, yeah. The boots are 642 physical armor, 140 magic. <laughs> Three times more than my current boots. Yeah. And it gives haste. It grants skill haste. Yeah. It gives dodging, hit points, sneaking, and fire resistance. And then there's helmet, which I don't really want. Well, I think that's settled then. Oh, but the helmet does give summoning. But yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but you don't care. Because, like, here's the thing. Like, my helmet is level 16. It's not great. But I think I'd rather buff you up because I think I'm happy with my armor and shit right now. Okay. So, you want the boots? Yeah, give me the boots then. Except right now. Boots are right now. Ah, this guy's a dick. But we need that. So this is what I got. I'm gonna need this to Red Prince, this ghostly morning star. Yeah. It's not good, but it might be, I don't know. Unbreakable. Oh yeah, there's durability in this game. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. I forgot there but was that pierces armor. Try it on Beast actually, slap him with it sometime. Pierce's I give, armor. I give you permission. Okay. Minus five to constitution. Oh yeah, that might actually be really good. Wow. Scales with strength. Yeah, we know that. But the, my other my other weapon doesn't say scales with strength. There you go. It's gonna get, I I could oh. like put them on beast, but you can have them. Just oh, get first dibs. Oh yeah. All right, here you can have my old pair of boots. On beast. Smelly boots. Yeah. So is the mace actually good or what? I, I think so, actually. Cause you if, if it pierces armor or does it not? It does pierce armor, because it's piercing damage. It literally says... Oh! On it, piercing damage. Which may, But the thing is, my, my current mace gives so much critical chance. And critical damage. And the knockdown, and the cleave. Uh, but it has this cleave as well. Like, the worst case scenario, I keep it with me, and then I use it in an opportune situation. You if know? there's ever, like, a super high yeah, armor yeah. enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Document is an autopsy report. Okay. 
All right, we still have to loot the house. House didn't. Yeah, so that's come what back we're doing now. now. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on back. Oh, unidentified crossbow. I guess I'll just send it to the BLC if she wants it. That was this. A combat dagger. Fuck, I want to add it to wares. Whoops. No, no, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cleave damage on the crossbow. Fuck. Or no, no, no. That's... For some reason it was showing me the other weapon that Red Prince had. Yeah, this weapon is far better. So we're gonna sell that. Because we had like some chests and some other st things to do here. Whoops. And I accidentally opened up my menu for something I wasn't supposed to, but that's okay. Hopefully everything's still recording. And it looks like it is. Good, good. Uh, toy wooden block lock picks. I'll send that to Beast. Trap disarming kit. Sure, Beast again. Bed line and short stick. I'm most of the point where I just don't care about loot anymore. <laughs> The amount of money I have, like I got to that point in Skyrim, okay? once, and it's depressing. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, like, have you ever been to that point in Skyrim where, like, you just look at you, like your home chest? It's full of so much loot that you can't sell. Uh huh. I got to that point once, and it's like, man, I guess I'll just stop looting. It was I a mean, very sad day. I, I bought me died that day. I mean, I don't think there's anything else in this house, anyways. There's a bunch of doctor's notes, but that's about it. Oh, well, it's wretched torso and severed head. Uh, there's something to, there's something locked over here. Yeah, send over the the shit. I mean, I was, I was reading through most of it. Most of it was just creepy ass shit that he uh, he gets. Doctor Diva. Yeah, it's the same thing. He just gets letters from people. What'd you get? Nothing exciting. Gold and a scroll. Not even a good scroll. Oh, rain scroll though. That's amazing. Would you would you send to somebody? I didn't send anyone anything. Well, where's the fucking arms and shit for Seville? Oh, right. oh, I didn't send this. It's just in the crown. I was like, fuck. <laughs> you get your own food. The fuck? You have to feed it directly into me. Yeah, nothing. You struggle in vain against the restraints binding you to the table. The gag muffles your screams as the scalpel is lowered to your flesh. Okay, he's he's basically not a nice guy. We we realize this. Thank you, game. All right, well, we're done with this place. We came, we saw, we cheesed. I, I, as I said, I don't think we cheesed anything. Like, I think, I think it's a hundred percent totally legit. <laughs> I think we definitely cheesed. We, we, I just don't care. We played within the rules of the game. Ah, uh, let's go check this out. Cause it's right here. Oh, there's another chest here. Oh, cursed fire arrow. Oh, some gold. Man, remember the good old days of <laughs> Divinity 1? <laughs> I had to dig <laughs> the everywhere. the graveyard? I'm glad they didn't put that back in, because you know you would have to do it. <laughs> I would, too. Ah, uh, well, there's nothing really here. Look like I can fly whenever I want. Oh, the, oh the, here it is, by the way. Here's the other barrel. Mm. So they're, like, you can't move this one either? It's stuck fast. It won't move. This is the way into this place, by the way. Like, into the dungeons, if you were, like... Not... Feeling cheeky. Not, apparently, beast with his thiefing. And he just kind of walked in there and didn't care. So you'd use the scroll on this guy with your teleporter pyramid inside of it. Yeah, there's even fish here as well, so you can make it happen. Yeah, yeah. This grave... Some good shit. Grave is unmarked. Yeah. We've done everything we can here. Uh, this is why I want to do, really want to do a second run of this game because Here lies some anonymous soul. I, I just I, I want to do like Louise. I want to do see what the doctor was actually really about, kind of thing. Because we didn't really get a chance to say anything because we did this like we did the meme lord run where, you know, we we didn't have. I, I mean, Jahan didn't even show up. <laughs> like, like I don't know why he didn't show Maybe up. Maybe he wasn't meant to. I don't know. I, he may not have been meant to. Oh, I should also uh, mention... Uh, let's like, get into the fact that, you know, the whole bug with Melody dying. That was great. We we received thanks of Elenesa, the ancestor tree, so this quest also closed. So. Yes. Dude, that was a spooky ghost that was talking to me. Yeah. She identified herself as that. Yes, yes, she did She did identify herself as that. There's apparently a second floor of this house. I didn't see any stairs going up, though. It's a myth. Also, large finesse potion. That's 11 extra finesse. It's kind of spooky, actually. 
That's yeah. I mean, I, we don't even use those things at all anymore. Yeah, who uses potions in 2018? Yeah, I know. All right, well, I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna head out, and uh, let's go see what else is around town. Let's go heal the good uh, Paladin Kem. I mean, I mean, I'm just gonna go to City Square. Actually, Narks, there's no point in me walking through this. I mean, you do what we know where we haven't gone yet. We haven't gone to the fucking Lizard Consulate. I, I'm going there, dude. I'm, I, don't, I don't care. A whole random spirits that are around. The spirit burns with rage at the carnage wrought on arcs. Rage for the Void Woken, rage for the Magisters, and rage too for himself and his fellow paladins for failing to see the danger until it was too late. All right. I want to go to that other place and get some soul points, so I'll catch up with you. <laughs> the fucking web really is there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you go, you go get the source points. I'll be uh, I'll be over. You can go get them from wherever. Fuck. Is it a lizard with a with hair? Fuck. Look at the size of that Don't worry thing. about it. The citizen. There's a line and blouse. Empty slot though. Uh. They're referring to the side of the thing. I don't even know. Linen. Linen, sorry, whatever. Yeah, linen. Don't trigger okay. me. I'll trigger you whenever I want. There's a lot of people here I've never talked to, so... This is the guy's deal. The in front of you is clad in a ragtag assortment of garb from different cultures. He looks up from repairing a battered instrument to smile and nod at you. One traveler to another. Ho there, fellow traveler. Luronta. Looking for some cheer to lighten the mood of this grim, dark city? Ask about his travels. Has he ever traveled through the MGM Empire? Yes, Kalisti, I did indeed. Such a beautiful place, such beautiful culture. I look forward to going back someday. Someday, when the roads are safe again. He's a bard. Ask him how he chose his path in life. Well, now, I do love music, it's true. But my instrument has given up the ghost after long days on the road. Rav, believe me, traveling takes its toll. I'm from a place called Aleroth, and traveled back in years. When I first left home, I had an idea traveled make me more well-rounded and, you know, interesting. But instead, I'm kind of uncomfortable everywhere. So now I'm traveling till I find a place that really feels like a true home. Because when nowhere feels like home, you start to forget who you are a little. At least, I do. Would you be willing to recite a you a piece? Of course, I'm glad to. My words will lift your spirits, no mistake. But I need to pay my way, so I'd ask you for a little gold if you have it. Man, do we really want to pay this guy 100 gold? What do you say? Man, 100 gold? Tom, you've, your own travels have thinned out your purse. Any chance of a discount? And for why do you deserve one, <laughs> Go actually do that. Tell me the encouragement for the road, traveler to traveler. Your style, I like it. So, how about a discount? 75. All right, fine. The poet tips his floppy hat to you as he counts the coin you handed over. Now, what poem do you like to hear? An old classic or one of my originals? A classic. Take a seat, Rav. Make yourself a tome. Give me a moment to clear my throat and listen. Behold the lizards, noble. I like your All right, I'm bored already. Also, why does that person have higher? Trader looks at the mansion behind her nervously, then back at you. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was training. Yes, have. Have my treasures caught your eye, then? By the way, her prices? Absurd. <laughs> Note her fearful behavior. What's got her so on edge? Oh, is it that obvious? I'm not very good at hiding my thoughts, I guess. It's a curse. I once told Lady Kem I don't like tea, and she hasn't spoken to me since. She begins speaking in a loud, suspicious whisper. See behind me? That's the Kem mansion. Cat's in there. Not like a kitty cat, but our boss, cat. I mean, not a boss cat, but our boss, the name of cat. Anyway, she thinks Kem's got something big in there, something real big. Don't ask me what it is. I don't know, but cat says it'll change everything. And she's going to find it. Ask more about cat. 
How'd she get access to the estate? She's an appraiser, silly. Kem's got her in there to see how much his stuff is worth. She's got the run of the place. Her voice once more lapses into a cacophonous whisper. You hold your finger to your lips in hopes she'll get the hint to quieten down. But her hiss only intensifies. The chems are loaded. If Tap pulls this off, we'll be living large. Take your She responds with a nervous wave, and her eyes flit to the mansion behind her. Is but a pointless jest. Yeah, she had to ring the sets really poisoned. When the void woke and attacked. They didn't go sets anywhere poisoned on you? State. I know some yeah. people oh, lost man. everything. I think this guy my wares. This guy has the sovereign and a bunch of paintings. Come, come, Sabiel. I got real lucky. Hope you like what you saw. There we go. So, chemist state, we clearly gotta go in there and fuck shit up. Are we allowed to go in? Let's well, yeah. Save a room. Hello, uh, Mrs. Chem. Uh, Hello, this is Dog. There's a fucking kid here. It's like loading the universe. Mummy right says I can't play upstairs in case I disturb her special guests. Are you a special guest? The, wait, the fuck? No, maybe not. That that was not what the dialogue said. <laughs> what? She's she's talking about okay, her di her spoken dialogue was special guests upstairs, and look what it actually says to me. Something about a weird cat looking cat in the garden. Yeah. Hey safe? Come out wherever you are. Okay, fine. Are you trying to fast one? <laughs> Try to curse the child. Okay, she's alive. <laughs> I mean, there's there's lo the word, the Madam Kem here. Overrun with foreign folk on this most inauspicious of Lucian's days. He catches himself and scrapes his throat in a brief moment of embarrassment. I I, I do apologize if I came across as impertinent just now, and I hope you'll forgive my unabating boldness when I assume Sir has come here in search of an audience with either Lord or Lady Kem. Uh, you you'd like a. Uh... Uh, very much to have a word with Lord Kem himself. I'm afraid I can't accommodate you with the opportunity to have a word with the Lord Kem at this precise moment, sir. My lord left early in the morning in pursuit of business and hasn't yet returned. What is he in the pursuit of? I'm not privy to the details of my lord's ventures, but I gather his outing pertains to his office as Grand Master of the Paladins and the ousting of certain firebrands from the city. A most noble task, I'm sure. Unless I'm quite mistaken, in which case I once more apologize profusely, you'll most likely find my lord in the immediate vicinity of the Magister headquarters. The Magisters, in case my previous sentence lacked clarity, being the firebrands I alluded to. Uh, wonder what the for foreign folk you mentioned. Oh, oh I, I meant, of course, sirs, countrymen, the lizard excellences that have sought shelter under this esteemed roof in the aftermath of the dreadful attack that was inflicted upon the Imperial Consulate. Well, why do you still have that thing on? I'm gonna heal them, dude. It saddens me to say there are a number of deaths to mourn. But no doubt we all rejoice in the survival of the nobles. After all, a mere clerk is so easily replaced, wouldn't you say? I, I agree with him wholeheartedly. Sir honors me with his applause for my humble assessment. Uh, I say you wouldn't mind an audience with the lady of the house. Lady Kem is having tea in the drawing room over in the north wing. I'm quite certain a person as obviously well traveled as yourself will have no problem drifting in that general direction should he deem it fit to do so. Hey, we should be on our way. Yes, do please excuse me, for I have a party of dignitaries to attend to. to They've an appetite for an aperitif, and the port, needless to say, does not pour itself. Okay. There's another fresh face. No! <laughs> What's he talking to you about? Oh, yeah. Like, we'll I, 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 already, I already did all of this, though. He catches him. I, I, I do yeah. apologize if I came across as impertinent. Yeah. <laughs> so you're probably my way, I guess. And I hope you'll yeah. forgive my unabating boldness when I assume, sir, <laughs> God, I can still hear in search him. of an audience with either Lord or Lady Kim. Captain, oh, safe? Fine. Wait, 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 what is he going to do? Just, I, I want a healing ritual on the butler. I want to talk to Cat the Appraiser. Alright, they're all alive. I can confirm. Uh, well, I mean, there's another way of, of checking to make sure if they're uh, undead or not. Here, go, go talk to the cat, the appraiser, because you, you you were in in cahoots with her, 
or whatever, because you're outlaw. You know of the situation. For heaven's sake, would you please? Oh, ever so sorry. I thought you were the rotten butler. You had to warn me again to take the ocular, not the tactile approach. Speaking of, there comes the butler. I swear I have a mind to beat him to death with the nearest dictionary I can find. Uh. <laughs> Ask her why she, uh, he's telling her to look, not but not touch. Because that little snob thinks me unworthy of being in his precious lord's mansion, appraising his precious lord's collection of antiques. Just you try judging the state of a Vedistian armor if you're not even allowed to rummage through its drawers. Um, ask her if she's anything interesting to stay No, uh, ask her what she's doing here exactly. I'm merely appraising the many antiques gathered in here in this beautiful mansion. A roguish little smile suddenly plays upon her lips. What else would I be doing? <laughs> oh, so you have to pass them. But you, you, you have maximum persuasion, right? I have maximum persuasion, yeah. yeah okay, so you can just do it. Okay. Vanessa's garbage. I'll go with wits, I think. Uh, let's go. I mean, I could go with oh, the outlaw one. But... No, let's go wits. Say that she could simply share her intentions with you, or you could tell the tell the you could tell the butler she damaged one of the antiques. My, you do drive a hot bargain, don't you? Very well. Consider yourself invited. Now listen closely. Rumor has it that Lord Kim's mansion is built upon a massive vault in which he hides his true valuables. His entire house is but a smokescreen for the real treasure hidden underneath. I've had no luck so far in locating this fabled vault, but if you do, I swear the entire hoard is yours. No questions asked. All I want in return for this information is a trio of curious that is said to be kept inside. The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. Everything else is yours. <laughs> I like the second See, if option. I was you, I would say laugh. <laughs> okay. You know all about the vault now, it's all yours, all of it. Yeah, why don't you fucking do it? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fine. Be a pussy. I'm gonna be a pussy. Tell her she has a deal. You'll get her the things she desires, should you find the vault. A most satisfactory arrangement. Um, sure. Do you have anything to sell? Highly Can I actually buy anything? Interesting. And highly valuable. Uh, I even quite out of your league. I found the basement already. To start. I'm beginning the search. Hmm. Now here's the thing. All of this doesn't look like it's any of it is here. Also, this place is extremely dark. She tried to sell me a 4,000 gold fork. The fuck? Did I just pick up like two things? 4,000 gold fork. So there's an amulet here that is okay, but not great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask if she can help locate the vault. I mean, I'm looking in the basement right now. Shakes out apologetically. Do you have any ideas? Nope, just says basically that it's there. Hmm. Hey, by any chance you spooky undead? Oh, I'm, I'm looking around. We'll save them before I ruin it for you. Fine. Well, what are you doing? Because I... I'm gonna heal her. Why do you want to heal everybody? <laughs> it could be spooky ghosts! I'm fucking- I'm trying to discover what's here. Which is why I'm asking you to save first in case I accidentally do kill someone. You see well, not kill, but you know. It's quite a sight. Gee, I wonder where it is. What are you talking about? Basement? I'm in the basement. I'm chilling here. You see yourself in the mirror. Wait, what'd you just it's get? It's quite a sight. Waypoint. Oh, okay. You see yourself in the mirror. There's also a hatch sight. out here. I'm not having much luck right now. You know, I'm gonna open this hatch, fuck it. Okay. I think I'll just come to you. I don't I don't see anything in here. Oh right, I can't use teleporter pyramids. <laughs> I forgot. Jeez, right. on to be all you find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. I found this hatch. I just unlocked it, but it needs to drain the water. That water will need to be drained somehow. <laughs> Get out! 
<laughs> Get out of my head. All right, well, let's, uh, let's think about how to drain the water then. Shh. Be mindful. His true name must be guarded. The flower is withered. You bend to smell the bloom, but it has no discernible scent. Touch the petals. The moment you finger the silky flower, icy darkness pierces your heart. The chill freezes your bones, then rushes free, leaving a single word etched within you. God woken. All right, thanks. The flower's beauty is betrayed by your memories of it. Uh. Several bystanders begin to chatter and giggle maniacally while tearing off their clothes and clawing off their skin. Profane monsters emerge from the bloody husks of people. Oh, uh, okay. So the shit is going down here. What shit? The doctor is dead. You must pay. The fuck? Uh. Oh, there were demons. Yeah. What the fuck? Are there demons nearby? Like he had, he said something like he goes like, "The doctor's dead. You must pay," but didn't actually do anything. Like, like he didn't say it, which is weird. I. Right. Are you? Do you? Are you in the fight? Pretty much. I was gonna do something fancy, but I got pulled in. I was gonna like stand at distance and get like the blood thing going, but yeah. Didn't work. Oh, I should have done. Yeah, actually, no, that's fine. So I would want to. Folk engaged. Was never really here. What? I'm just doing AOE. Damn it! <laughs> you lost. Actually, wait. They could can, can just attack her. I don't care. Cursing me. Oh, it's the ghost terrified. You sp spooked solid. The fuck. You're entangled too? Am I? Uh, I guess I am. But I have wings, it's fine. Void Guile. Oh, it's a cursed face. This is going to be happening to us the Boss. entire time. <laughs> oh, they skipped uh, Red Prince's turn as well, because he's terrified. Healer. Trying to find the sweet spot, but I'm not sure he... I, fuck it, I started so far back. Well, that's my movement, so what can I do? Can you peace of mind Red Prince at least? Or maybe Sabeel actually. Sabeel would be good to peace of mind. Red Prince can just take it. Yeah, but I could, if I peace of mind Sabeel, she, she can peace of mind Red Prince. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I can't do anything about the Entangled. Uh, yeah, that is true. I didn't realize I had that. But at least you can get death Red resist. Prince up and... I could death resist myself, it's fine. I can use a scroll to. Yeah, I don't want to get. Can we just get. Can we just get Red Prince up as well? I mean, no, no, it's fine. So we'll do it. Okay. In which case, I will give my dude Fawcett Infusion. I'd rather you start killing these guys. Right, who are we jumping on? I don't know. The guy who's. I took off his armor. This guy? Yeah, it's, he's shot this guy. The fuck does like is there like the, the doctor sending shit after us? The fuck we killed him though. Why would they come after us? Meetings for his servants and he's just like No, he just said like, like you killed our dude. Yeah, but like he's dead, so you don't serve him anymore. <laughs> so Maybe they don't they don't know what to do don't know what to do without him. This flower's getting my nerves. What's getting on your nerves? The flower is like talking shit. I know. I talked to it a little bit, it just fucking just it's told like me. fucking Undertale or, or some shit? Yeah. Whatever. Hey, it bounced! And I could do a stomp, I'll just do a st uh, batting ram. Good shit. Alright. Oh god, you're dying. Yeah, it's okay, I'm just gonna 
use this thing on him. I'll drink a potion. The guy goes for. I don't drink a potion. Actually, you can't drink a potion, actually. I can't? Or no, what? you can. I thought you were decaying, but no, it's this um, fucking other guy. Problem. I don't have any potions left. Uh, I gave you, like, a whole bunch more. Did you? Because I gave them to Red Prince, though. You gave me the red prince then. I don't have any. Just occurred to me I don't have any. I have wits potion. We have first aids at least. I guess so. It's better than nothing. Why do you do this to me? Alright. Uh let's see. Should we get the guy that's on the ground? Yeah, I guess I'll get the guy. Doesn't move the stone anyway, so you, but you do whatever. I could finish this guy off while leave him as a treat for Seville. Uh you can leave him, I guess. She gets a free action maybe for I, it. Maybe I can't though, because I can't. Alright, well they do whatever. I can't see I can't hit anything else. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Alright, rip. Game's over. Maybe I just kill this guy. And let's start up. on this guy. Hello? Oh, easy game. E easy game, easy life. Easy, man. What the, what the fuck? What even? What the? Hmm? Was that them using Arch Drastic against us? <laughs> they could come back with full, fucking yeah. full, full health and everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's actually amusing. Good game, good game. All right, so what? Should we do about the water? Might be some button somewhere that will undo it. Uh, yeah, so you're in the. Actually, well, maybe if it's forward here, because I didn't realize where you were coming from, so. I don't know, I'll have a look. Looks like a blood rose over here on the side. There. I guess I'll fuck with that. Alright. Blood rose where? Oh, on this side? Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Out. It's interactable. Or you just flying. pick it up, I guess. But like this blood. <laughs> I though. literally just took an entire thing of fucking. A blood rose bush. When not in flower, it barely stinks at all. Fuck. Yeah, but I, I, I literally just took the entire. I just took. It's just as rose. Mm, weird. All right. Well, there's a guy over here to attack to somewhere. Oh. Look at this unusually beautiful yarrow flower. Alright. Oh, there's a chest down there. I'm going to get that. I guess you're going to go get that. What an unusually large yarrow. Okay. Oh. Also, a chest along the coast. Yeah, I'll go get that. Somewhere over here? Yeah, right there. So I have flight all the time. Oh, giant healing potion. Give that to Sabil, I guess. There you go. I guess I'll go get a bunch of stuff. Alright. Drinking the beer. Yeah. Alright, let me go check out fucking potions so I can give it to her so she won't have that problem next time. Yeah, you're right. You did give a bunch to me. <laughs> so you can't make one above this? I guess you can't. I guess I, I would have assumed I mean, you would have tried. I don't think I've tried. Maybe I've tried. Alright, it doesn't look like there's much else here. Is there something along the coast over here? Well, it looks like the, pretty much the end of this place. Alright, I'm gonna come back up there. Unripe hot kettle. This plant has roots of steel. Alright. I have some character to talk to here. I was looking for him. Oh, it's a toad. Oh, there he is. The frog blinks slowly, considering you with shrewd and beady eyes. After a pointed pause, he opens his mouth, flicking his tail to catch an unfortunate fly right from the tip of your boot. What is it? That's as high as it goes, giant. Okay. Oh, I'm going to talk to this frog. Another blow in. 
And this used to be such a nice neighborhood. It's enough to say you've seen much better gardens in your time. Let me tell you, it was once majestic here. But recently, some bad elements have been appearing. Kids rampaging in the pool, splashing about, doing Lucian knows what underwater, and scaring all the flies away. Lethal plants. I tell you, I've had quite enough. Quite. Um. With that, the frog turns his back to you with disdain. Uh. I'm telling you, one more kid shouting. All right. Uh, there's some birds and shit over here. Three owls in the enclosure stare you down blankly, <laughs> fluffing their feathers and blinking in turn. Jimmy, prithee wake thyself. The owl addressed as Jimmy lies motionless on the ground, looking for all the world like he's stone cold dead. Aye, aye, buck thyself up, Jimmy lad. We are blessed with a visitor. Mentioned that Jimmy appears to be er dead. Deceased? Buncom, sweet Jimmy is just resting his eyes. Sir must be aware that one often needs a small nap after a large dinner, and Jimmy just ingested a banquet. Uh, happy, uh, say that happy is the owl that feasts, who feasts well. Who is their generous benefactor? Kem! Kem! Lord Kem! Finest paladin in all the land! Right, Jimmy? A beak never goes empty for long in Kem's house. Uh... No, don't examine the prone. What are you looking at? I did it. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll wait. I'm talking, talking to owls. Spying some blood on Jimmy's beak, you pry it open to investigate. Inside, you see a human finger. A few sharp tugs, and you've pulled a severed human hand loose, partially pecked. You don't need to be a genius to surmise that Jimmy choked on his dinner. Sir? Sir! Quit thy poking and prithee leave yon Jimmy alone. Our lad will ruffle up his feathers in his own sweet time. Uh, pick up the half to severed hand. As you gingerly pack the rotting appendage in your backpack, you have occasion to wonder, not for the first time on this journey, what in the void am I doing? Well, Sabio's gonna eat it, obviously. Ask the owls what they do here. Jimmy? Jimmy? What is it we do? Oh, blast and bother, Jimmy! Show some civility to our esteemed visitor, won't you? Jimmy remains dead, uninterested in answering petty questions about the world of the living. Take your leave of the elves. Fare thee well. We'll tell Jimmy you stopped by. All right, I'm just gonna get to be able to eat this. You are a talented thief. You creep through the mansion and into the safety of the vault. But a shadow looms, a paladin. Smiling, you give yourself up. But something pulls at your soul. A blade swings, your hand falls. Ah, well, apparently that was a, a thief that was caught. All right, so you said you did it. Yeah, I found a lever. Oh, uh, well, there's also someone here to talk to, but the owl mistress, but I'm gonna just go to you. We'll just fuck him. We can wait. Or right, do you want me to? Okay, all right, fine. I'll talk to I the did. Talk to the fucking owl mistress. The elegant owl mistress glances up at you from her papers, a harried look on her face. She nods an abrupt greeting. Yes? Uh, your bad news, whatever owls is dead. I doubt it. That's probably just Jimmy taking a nap. That fat owl, he eats a lot. Poor lad hasn't been able to fly properly in months. Lord Kem feeds him too many treats. And who am I to stop him? Ask her what she's doing. Can't you smell the fine aroma of owl shit? This is the Owlry, Lord Kem's communications link with the rest of Rivalon. Right now, I'm sending my fluffy friends to mobilize paladins to readiness. War is imminent. But Lord Kem's a good leader, a good man. He'll protect us. I'm sure of it. I suppose he sent you for the latest news. I tell her you're keen on knowing what's happening in the world. What can she tell you? Rivalon's a big place, darling, and all of it in a shambles. Where exactly do you want to know about? Oh, Fort Joy. We haven't heard anything from Fort Joy in a good long time, ever since a group of renegade sorcerers escaped, killing Bishop Alexander in the process. I'm no fan of Magisters, not anymore. But I can't help but think that Alexander's death was unfortunate. Dallas is only making everything worse. Uh, that's for news of Driftwood. I intercepted some Magister communications from there a while ago. 
Seems like their void woken problems have decreased lately. But they're not quite sure why. How about the ancient empire? Well, that's no surprise. Your kind of all three houses riled up in a frenzy. The House of Dreams are communing with dead warriors. The House of Lore drawing up new maps for after the war. And the House of War? Well, the House of War are in their element. Ask for news of the Dwarven Queendom. Same old story. The Queen is trying to quench the rebellion, but the rebels are too quick for her. And in all that, the traders are getting more powerful while the nobility weakens. What part they'll play in the upcoming war remains to be seen. <laughs> the, Queen, the Queen Justina might still be alive, actually. <laughs> Good luck Maybe. Out there. You'll need it. We all will. Okay, I'm coming to you now. What lever? Oh, we go down there first. What lever? Where was it? Uh, it was over here. I was gonna go inspect the water pump and then oh, he fan spotted it. Uh, okay. All right, all right. We gotta go down there. Oh, the vault, floor one. There's fucking Lucian the uh, Harbinger, and I don't want to start that fight now because it's fucking basically forty minutes. So. Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in, guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.